Facial detection? Nah, I prefer racial detection. Ha. So there's been a lot of racial controversy in the news recently. People are saying things they're just not supposed to say. Look at this, look what I 3D printed. It's a hard R. <laughs> oh, look at that. Drop the hard R. <laughs> Anyways, the problem is that kids aren't learning about racial sensitivity at a young age. Now, clearly the issue lies squarely with the parents, but really who can blame them? You know, I mean, I forget I'm half Filipino most of the fucking time. How's Bob Smith supposed to teach little Timmy about different ethnicities, you know? And that's why I came up with the idea for a revolutionary new toy based entirely on race called Trigger Me Elmo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so Trigger Me Elmo is gonna be Two, three, two, two major parts. It's gonna be the animatronics inside of Elmo because it's not nearly terrifying enough if it doesn't move and the software that's going to detect your race. Oh yeah, so what Trigger Me Elmo is gonna do is detect your race using computer vision APIs and then say things to you based on what ethnicity he thinks you are. Let's start with the robotics that we need to turn Elmo into the spawn of Satan. Now this is the part of the project where I realized I might have messed up because my rough plans of the animatronics became progressively more disturbing and eventually bordered on uh, devil worship. So here's a 3D model for the mouth animatronics. This is pretty cool. Here's how the jaw moves. Uh, ooh, can't do that in real life. And then this boring piece of shit is the 3D model of the torso animatronics. I'll get those parts printed out, but while they're printing, let me show you where we're gonna be putting everything. It's just the hollowed out corpse of a normal Tickle Me Elmo doll. I took the stuffing out so that the robotics would fit nicely inside of it. And I know what you're thinking, Michael, that is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't worry it's gonna get a lot worse. So these are what the fully assembled animatronics look like, somehow even more disturbing in person. The mouth mechanism's pretty self-explanatory. It gets screwed onto the floor and roof of Elmo's mouth. Uh, then the servo is sent signals from my computer and it opens it up to simulate talking. Here's what it looks like just constantly moving. Uh, obviously we're gonna use future code to make it actually simulate talking. Gross. This is the arm mechanism. It works when the servo turns this wheel, which is attached to fishing line, which is attached to the arms, and it makes them move up. So yeah, that's creepy. And here's what this one looks like constantly running. Don't worry, I'm already disgusted at myself. Now let's just slap in those fucking animatronics. Right, so the arms are in, let's do the mouth. I told you it was gonna get worse. So if I plug this in and just have it constantly run, it should look like... Now, unfortunately for us, creepy does not equal racist. Can't wait to see that on a shirt. Unfortunately, creepy does not equal racist, said by Michael Reeves, AKA Filipino Hitler. So in order to turn Satan fetus into full-fledged Trigger Me Elmo, we're gonna need some code. We're actually gonna need a fuck ton of code. Spoiler alert, I made it way harder to build than it needed to be. But Michael, I hear you ask, why was it so hard to make? Well, the answer is, hey fucker, sounds like you are about to start saying nerd shit, and that's not cool. So if any of you guys aren't into that, you better skip this part of the video. Either that, or shut the fuck up and don't talk about it in my goddamn comment section. Remember to stay cool, stay in school, and smoke crack. A lot of things. They're kind of just a lot of moving parts in general. I did make a lot of extra work for myself though. Uh, one thing in particular, I'm gonna make the excuse that I spent the extra time to make the code run faster, but it's actually because I'm a dipshit. While I was looking through the documentation of the API that I'm using, uh, I spent all of like five minutes looking at it and I thought that the API would only use images that were already on the internet. So what I had to do here, I'll show you. My computer, my computer. I had to also create a completely separate web server here. Web server, web server. And then here I'll represent the API here. 
API. So I thought that I needed to get the images from my computer onto the internet before the API could access them. So my system takes images from my computer and it uploads them to my web server, which publicly hosts them on the open internet. My web server then returns the custom URL of the image hosted on the internet on this server. It takes it and it sends it up to the API. The API then has access to this URL. So the API asks my web server for the image hosted on it. Then the API takes that image, processes out different racial attributes, and then returns those racial attributes data to my computer where I can process them for Tickle Me Elmo, Trigger Me Elmo. And so we can represent Elmo here. That. So based on the race information, the computer tells the Elmo what to say. So the fact that I did this entire part of the project uh, would be really stupid if it weren't just coincidentally more effective uh, speed-wise. Because the only other alternative is converting the picture on my computer to a base 64 encoded string that's basically turning the picture into just letters and numbers and then uploading that to the API in a JSON file, which is a pretty inefficient way of doing things. So I'm pretty sure this solution is the fastest, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna say it's 100% the fastest. So let's see what that software looks like without the boring explanation garbage. Now you might notice I borrowed some of the UI elements from the Squirtboy 9000, but pretty much everything else is different. So when I start it up, it's gonna start detecting my face and when it reaches a certain threshold, uh, it's gonna send it up to the server and there we go. Wow, it knows I'm Asian. Didn't need an API to tell you that. So here I'm gonna let it run again and this time I'm gonna draw your attention to the upper left corner. Um, you can see this nice little readout I put in. See what the API does is it returns race confidence values based on what it thinks you are. So obviously we're gonna take the highest race confidence value and then that's how Elmo knows what race you are. And obviously we're not gonna use my laptop webcam because <laughs> that's not nearly creepy enough. So what I did was slip some camera guts into Elmo's right eye, and so the detection will work like this. Yeah! So we can actually do the speech synthesis in real time instead of determining what the movement should be ahead of time. We can do this by just listening on whatever audio stream is playing on the computer at any given time, and then moving the mouth based on the decibel levels on that audio stream. God damn, that was a boring sentence. Uh, let me just show you. Okay, I got the speech synthesis code running on my computer. Uh, I put a Bluetooth speaker in Elmo's ass, just because. So when I play any audio on my computer, <laughs> Facial detection? Nah, I prefer racial detection. Huh. Obviously, it doesn't just do talking, but you know what? I think it's a hundred times better anyway. So all we gotta do is come up with voice lines for Elmo to say. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Wrong. Elmo! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even gonna try. Um, oh, crowdsourcing is the answer. Just like all things. And tweet! Now all I gotta do is wait for you wonderful people to give me some quality voice lines. Crowdsourcing was not the solution. I'm gonna shoot your dad in the mouth. But you guys did point me to Die Trickster, another YouTuber who does a mean Elmo impression, and more importantly, doesn't mind a little satirical racism. Because damn it, if Trigger Me Elmo is gonna teach the youth to be more racially tolerant, he's gonna have to show them what not to do. So I asked him to read off some voice lines that make fun of Asian and white people. Why? Because I'm Asian and white. And if I've learned one thing from being on YouTube all these years, it's that if you are a race, you are allowed to endlessly mock that race, regardless of if you're disconnected from the culture, regardless of if it's mean-spirited. That's the YouTube way. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank, thanks for coming out. Thank you, no thank you. I may have also asked him to do lines for the other races too. Oops. So I got the lines referenced by the code, and that means we're done. Trigger Me Elmo is available in stores across the United States today. Wow, thanks, Dad. I've always wanted a Tickle Me Elmo. Well, something that's actually a Trigger Me Elmo. Your teacher called, and you dropped the N-bomb like six times in class yesterday. We gotta teach you some racial tolerance. That's no way for a third grader to act. Introducing Trigger Me Elmo, the hottest new toy of the summer. Setting up Trigger Me Elmo is an absolute breeze. All you need is one USB cable. Oh, uh, two USB cables. Uh, a fucking power cord, I guess. Two custom programs. Your own private server. And an enterprise-grade web API. Trigger Me Elmo, because God has been dead for a very long time.
This is the world's very first fully functioning Trigger Me Elmo. I am so goddamn excited to finally see it work. So all I gotta do is stare into his beady little chicken eyes. And... Elmo's a puppy, not a dog. Please don't try to eat me. It is everything I ever wanted. Oh, an ocean! Elmo remembers you from the assembly line. This might be the best thing I've ever made in my entire life. I just, I cannot, I can't stop playing with it. This is the best thing in the world. Oh. Why people like you remind Elmo of Cookie Monster? That was mess. Yeah. <laughs> And that was perfect because I'm half white and half Asian, so it should get it right like half the time. Wait, no, it should get either one half the time. That's what I meant. Oh, if you didn't know I'm back home on vacation, I can probably find one of my parents. Hey, mom, sit down in the chair, please, mom. Thank you, mom. This isn't yeah. proof that I'm just Asian. All right, just look into the beady little eyes of the ch uh, yeah. Good boys from playing with Elmo. I don't think I'm gonna make them sell. What did he say? It says the iPhones aren't gonna make themselves. Cause you're Asian, get it? Whatever. Okay, goodbye mom, um, you can go now, bye. Okay, next I'm gonna call over my black and Hispanic friends. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Okay, couple of my favorite actors, let's do uh, John Leguizamo first. Let me just line the face up. Okay. Animal respects all the individuals of Hispanic lineage and wish you a wonderful day. So the, 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 the thing is, I'm not Hispanic, so, you know. Now Terry Crews, rest in peace, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> Boy, I sure hope I don't get demonetized for the racist shit Elmo's about to say. I respect and admire your rich culture, and would now narrate a documentary on African-American trials and tribulations. Chapter One. Guess which race I'm not. I think that covered Trigger Me Elmo pretty well in depth. I can show you guys a little bit. <laughs> God, sorry about that, guys. I, I was having this crazy dream that this video was still somehow monetized. I, I don't know where it came from. Uh, completely unrelated to that, have you ever seen someone hack into a racist animatronic Elmo doll to show people on the internet how a VPN works? Well, guess what? Because today's sponsor is NordVPN. You may have heard of them from fucking everywhere. And that's actually part of the reason why I'm so excited to be working with Nord is because I see their ads all the time and they tell you about how Nord is gonna make you more secure, but no one ever shows you how it's gonna make you more secure. So let's hack. Minecraft. Hey, how's it going? I hope everyone's having fun because I'm about to make it so you never feel comfortable in public ever again. So let's just pretend we're in a Starbies and this is their router. And this is gonna be your regular computer connected to the Starbies wireless. You could be doing whatever, reading email, watching porn, whatever you do at Starbucks. But then this is the computer of the creepy old white man sitting at the back of the Starbucks. He's gonna be trying to see what you're doing online. So I'm gonna use Trigger Me Elmo to show you what the creepy motherfucker over there Hi. can see when you're not secure on the internet because Elmo sends requests over the internet to get race data. And so it should have detected my face by now. Oh, oh shut the fuck Ow. up! Let's go see what old man Nevercracker could see. So here's the wireless data from the last couple of minutes. Let me just filter that for just HTTP. Um, and if we scroll down, um, oh, would you look at that? Look, it's an application-json file. We used an application-json file in the Elmo. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. Oh, look at that. We pulled a URL from thin fucking air, which literally anyone can do on an unsecured network if they have a computer and no life. Here, look, I'll show you where it goes. Um, I gotta restart the computer to get internet access back, so I'll just save the URL to a file. All right, we're back, we got internet, so I'll just copy paste over the URL into Firefox. Oh, would you look at that? It's the same fucking image. Now let's try the same exact thing, but with NordVPN enabled. 
All right, starting it up, and you should notice an immediate change in the Wireshark protocols column. It should go from TCP, UDP, and HTTP to OpenVPN, which implements AES-256 military-grade encryption. That's a lot of buzzwords, though. You don't give a shit about buzzwords. You just saw that computer... Ooh. Shut the fuck up. You just saw that computer rip a data packet out of thin fucking air, <laughs> a packet that was never intended for it. I'm sure you just care about results, so I will show you results. Let's do the stupid Elmo thing. You got my face? All right, cool. Let's go over to Wireshark. Let's check out the protocols. Oh, would you look at that? It's all open VPN. I cannot pull shit from it. There's no data for me to read because it's all encrypted. So I'm secure whether I'm on a secure network out in public or not. And that is the terrifying but harsh reality of unsecure networks. But the good news is I can get you 77% off a three year plan with NordVPN if you want to start protecting your internet experience today. All you got to do is go to nordvpn.com slash Michael Reeves and use the code Michael Reeves. Kind of redundant. And I get it if you're like, I don't really use my computer to Starbucks. I just whip out my mobile phone, browse Reddit, do whatever. Unfortunately, mobile phones are susceptible too. A lot of apps are really insecure and vulnerable to this, but Nord can protect your phone traffic too, so you ain't gotta worry about it. Uh, I mean, you ever send nudes from a Starbucks? I haven't, but you know. Um, yeah, just keep in mind the old guy at the back. That's nordvpn.com slash Michael Reeves with the code Michael Reeves. All right, I'm out.